Call La Yahweh Shai. Oh, you can't, can't. You know, double honest that is a great millstone. Peace and salutations to the whole full elect. You know, your brothers, your sisters out there that's laboring. You know, keep it a commandment to the best of your ability, man. We're close. You know, We're close, man. Prophecy popping up left and right. You know, right, man. You still getting ready to come down great wrath. You know, we know the time that we in, man. You know, that's what scripture say. Measure thou the time diligently in itself. You know, Heavenly Father, and Radio, he visiting his place, man. Chariot sightings. You got Jake saying the chariots are not the, um, you the so called your foes are not the chariots of Yahweh Shai. Yeah, that guy, that guy is, he got to be an agent, bro. You just said stupid ass nigga. Yeah, yeah. You got to be dumb. Yeah. Because you come from IUIC, not even IUIC teach that. Right? You come from IUIE, so he said. Yeah. You know, but that, that nigga, that nigga broke down. Mm. So it's like, man, it's like, it's clear I did the time we had many false prophets going out in the, the world, man. Many, man. Many false prophets, man. Brandon, the wicked ass T. Jackson, there was a goddamn hypocrite and a buster. They're trying to, trying to cling to our glory. Yeah. Nigga, stay, stay, stay to Hollywood, man. He trying to commercialize the faith. Yeah, man, you wicked, man. You know, but we, he said something. The, he basically was like, they didn't even ask him about the, the brothers that teach on the streets. He just basically said like, oh, you a shot. Yeah, he throwing shots. He's like, oh, we don't preach that. Oh, you're gonna die and all that is. Uh, well, guess what? These people are gonna die. You well, know, you're a false prophet. These people are gonna get put to death. We'll start with that first then, since the brother talking. It's like Chronicles 15, 13. You gonna die too. Yeah. Right? Because you're not a you're not a man of the Lord. You don't you don't preach your how about Shemiah Shah. Then you preach Yah, whatever, whatever you nonsense you preach. Coming in the spirit of them Old Testament Hebrews, right? We yeah. preach and anybody can join our organization. Nigga, the scriptures don't say that, man. The scriptures never teach that anybody, man. The most sides only dealing with the Israel of the Heavenly Father. The spirits that were sanctified from the very beginning. That's right. And those spirits are present on the planet Earth. And only those spirits can hear this song. Yep. You can't hear this song. You can't hear this song by the looks of it, one body, even though they're using the name Yahweh Shai. That's what Yahweh Shai said. Um, many shall come in um, in that day saying, Lord, didn't we do great works and was rebuking people and cut people? And he's going to say, I never knew you. You say what? Not yeah. everyone saying, Lord, Lord, Lord yeah, into the, into the kingdom, kingdom of heaven, man. Right. And he that doeth the will of the Father, man. Right, man. You weren't doing the will of the Father because you preaching what? False doctrine. A little leaven unleavened it the whole lot. First to say, Yahweh Shai did no miracles. So you don't even believe in the works that he did. Mm. Now, because they lack faith. You have you no know? faith. No faith, man. Yeah, and then then you say in the chariots, one of your members say ain't gonna be no martial law. Oh, then man. you then you said that um uh that, that the UFOs are not the chariots. Man, just close the Bible, man, and just go back in the world, man. Okay, because you're not looking for salvation, and I don't even think them guys prophesy. Mm. He's just an old idiot, man. All right, you a fool. All right, you a blind watchman. He gonna be amazed at the strangers of the salvation of the elect. Yeah. He gonna when you see brothers getting beaten up to them so called your foes, he's like, oh shit. You know, he's not getting beamed up. Nah, he's he not like gonna brother just said, he gonna be saying, Lord, have not a cast out devil's DNA. You know? Man, I never knew you, man. You said I did no miracles. Yeah. You know, you said these vehicles was not my chariots. You see, so And you had no excuse because you see the real men out there, um, you hear what brothers were saying. Okay? So you you know, you, my man, that dude is a clown, man. Yep. That dude is a supreme clown, man. Okay? Alright? That guy is just foolish, man. Uh, you know, and then of course you got Yohanna, which Yohanna's willingly going off. Alright? Yohanna knows what the MOB is. Yohanna's not dumb. Yohanna knows Maxine is, is poison. He knows that. But that Judas purse must be real good. That money must be real good, man. Them stipends must be real damn good, man. Okay? See, certain guys, you can see that it just don't got it. And certain guys, you can know they took the bag. Yeah. Just like Caiaphas. He knew Yahweh Shai was a Messiah. He said it. But he had a position with the Romans. His position was more important than salvation. Mm. See? All right, go ahead. Second Chronicles 15 and verse 13. That whosoever would not seek the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh power of Israel should be put to death. Don't seek them. So what is Brandon Jennings talking about? Brandon Jackson, Jackson, right? Yeah. yeah, what is he talking about, man? He's got those shots at the prophets. The men of the Lord saying, oh, we don't, we're not one of those that say, oh, you're going to die. You know, and he said, he's sitting amongst a congregation of wicked-ass Eves. 
Yeah, what are you trying to uh, trim and eat? What does scripture say? It's Jeremiah 2. That just yeah. came to my mind, too. Send it. That's the spirit. That's yeah, the spirit. Yeah, it's 221, something like that. Okay, come on. First of all, the prophets, the prophets never fit in. Yeah. You're trying to fit in, commercialize the truth. The prophets never fit in. Ever. Ever. That's why people despise the prophets. Because our people be having a good old time, being wicked, and the prophets will come and ruin the party, man. Ruin it, man. All right? And curse you niggas out, man. That's why Yahweh Shai said, he said, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets, man. Right? Because the prophets are known for what? Cursing niggas out, like yourself, man. Because you coming in the spirit of what? Hananiah. And Jeremiah cursed Hananiah out, man. But in fact, we're going to get that. Since we on that, let's get it. You got it? Um, it was a little more of Chronicles 2, being quoted for Jeremiah, the second chapter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so a little more of Chronicles, second Chronicles 15 and 13. That whosoever would not seek the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, power of Israel, should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. Right? So what is that dude talking about, man? You know, people are going to die in these last days if they don't get right, if they don't repent and seek Yahweh by Shem Yahushua. You Israelites. You know, you heathens, you're through. You saw you're through. You know what I'm saying? So why is this dude trying to promotion, commercialize the faith? You know what I'm saying? He's trying to sell, he got sneakers called heirs. He's trying to sell, you know, merchandise. He's like, how you believe you're the chosen in Mosai, side, but you, you hand in hand with the Amalekites? It makes no goddamn sense, man. This dude is a false prophet. This dude is a, he's not even a prophet, man. You know, stay in your goddamn lane. You know? Just be an entertainer. Yeah, that's what you are. You already sold out. Right? You know? Yeah, you throwing up the, uh, that's why the Lord didn't give you the truth. You ready? You, you have your, you, you, you received your constellation already. Yeah. Yeah. You received your secondary prize already, which is the fame of this world. Yeah. Right? You yeah. Re received it, man. Yeah. Kevin Samuels, you received yours as well, which are most side and sanctified marriage. What the hell are you talking about? What are you talking about? Why do you think he said he's going to give man to help me? He said it. Yeah. All right? And they shall both twine and become one flesh. That's marriage joined together. Did he set up this modern day marriage? No. This institution, we are um, we, uh, married by the state. Okay, no, man. Okay, but marriage is an ancient custom, man. All right, there was no such thing as uh, lewd sex unless you're sleeping with a harlot. All right? Most High dealt with uh, uh, he the one who set up that family structure. And he set up the man to be over the woman. He said, unto the woman, he said, what? Thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. What the hell are you talking about, my man? Okay. He gave took out a rib. We broke down his rib thing already. The rib is of what? He was she was of close kin to him. That's right. Okay? One of his family line, man. Mm -hmm. Just like Jacob and his wives. They were, right. those were his cousins. Same thing with um Isaac. Yeah. Abraham told his yeah. servant to go find Isaac uh, 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 yeah. wife. Yeah. That was close. That was one of his kinsfolk. Yeah, one of his kinsfolk. That's yeah. the same thing with yeah. Adam. All right? And they say that the deep sleep um meaning he wasn't aware. All right? Just like um uh we read about Samson um, well, he said, yo, get me a Philistine woman. And his, his parents was like, yo, why you need a Philistine? Why don't you just get you an Israelite? But it, it tells you in quotation, but it was the, the, the Lord's doing. The Most High put the spirit on him to go after a Philistine because why? He wanted drama with the Philistines. Same thing with Adam. He put the spirit on Adam to get one of close kin to him, man. All right? It's a parable and it's written that way for a reason. You see? And you can only get that understanding from the, the elders and the apostles on down right. about the garden, man. Yeah. And the fruit and the trees, the different nations. Fruit is what? Philosophy. Yep. They were naked means they sin. You see, but, you know, and we, we don't went through this already, man. Yeah. Okay? Who the serpent was. It wasn't no actual snake. No snake could come down and tell a man to turn away from his power. All right? And, convince, and trick you, man. All right? They ain't talking about that, man. Okay, that was an actual snake, man. I remember Christianity. They, they, they used to they, teach that. You see a snake coming down and yeah. talking to a woman with and an I apple. Remember they, I remember when someone said the people still believe legs. that. Yeah, the snakes had like like arms. The next thing you know, the Lord took the arms away. Now it's still on his belly. Like I was like, oh man, I fell for that shit when I was a kid. Yeah, we all did. You know what I'm saying? And that snake, you're looking at him right now. Yep. That's him right there. That's, snake right there. That's a serpent. But the, is a serpent. He's a serpent. But what happened? The Most High cursed him, and they end up into the caves. Yep. That's why when Job was on the scene, he said, what? They were the children of fools, yeah. children of base men. Because the Most High cursed them, man. That's right. Right? And Cain was also in that same spirit. 
Mosai cursed his ass and gave him what? We're going to do a video on that. Leprosy. It's going to be a video I'm going to do. Mosai cursed his ass, man, with leprosy, man. All right? That's one of the hidden mysteries. And, and why he has it? He came back as Esau. Right. All right? He hasn't been judged yet fully. See? But, of course, Christianity ain't going to get that. Right? All right? What you got? Oh, I got Jeremiah 2 and 33. Why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? Yeah. Therefore hast thou also taught the wicked ones thy way? Yeah, why trim your way to seek love? Okay. Yeah, that's what Brandon T. Jackson was doing in that little interview with the little three E's. But yeah. they didn't even ask no questions about the brothers that teach. They yeah, just asked some basic questions. Yeah, he, yeah. He was just trying to trim his way to seek love. What they call you know? trying to be cute. Yeah, he was trying to be cute. He was trying to, um... You know what I'm saying? He yeah. basically trying to make himself not be affiliated with the brothers that brought Yeah, I don't want to offend. Well, let's get Matthew 18.7. Because you're not a man of the Lord. All right? And you did unspeakable things, yeah. Brandon G. Jackson. Yeah. Right? Like, we don't know. You don't know. Like, don't oh, know. I just put on a dress, nigga. That's what you did on camera. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You did unspeakable things. And that's why. And you ain't coming through the straight gate. So that's why the Lord didn't give you the truth. And you weren't chosen to be a prophet. No more. You didn't give up that bullshit, man. All right? Because you were scared to offend. We're going to read that. Matthew 18. Matthew 18 and 7. Woe to the world because of offenses, for it must needs be that offenses come, but woe to, to that man by whom the offense cometh. Yeah, so we out here to stir people up. She says, stir up your pure mind, agitate people, annoy people. Scripture says what? To shake the hand. Yeah. Rebuke him that they go to the gates of the nobles, That's right. that they complain about you. That's the prophet of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right. All right? Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai was a stumbling block of offense. Okay, he said that. Okay, he was that chief cornerstone, man. Okay. He said, I think he said that in uh, John the ninth chapter. He said many, many, many scriptures, man. Matthew the 21st chapter. Okay. Yahweh Shah was that stumbling block, man. To a lot of people, man. You see? And ultimately, who set up the stumbling blocks? The most high. Sirach 39 24. You get that? Sirach 39 24? Yeah. Yeah. The book of Sirach, ch um, chapter 39, verse 24. As his ways are plain unto the holy, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. Yeah, they're stumbling blocks. Oh, nah. God is with everybody. I'm not about that hate shit. You know what I mean? I accept everybody no matter what. You're not a man of the Lord, man. All right? That's not what the Heavenly Father teaches, man. The scripture tells you this book is written for what? Reproof. This book is also known as, like, like, I'm going to do a video on that. He said, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. A rod is what? For co what? correction. All right, staff could be to support somebody, you know what I mean? You, you see old people walk with staff. So it, it could it could be used to, you know, to hold you up. Or the most I could use it to what? To correct you, man. That's, right. That's what the word is for. That's right. All right, and all of us brothers got correct to come to this faith. Yeah, man. despise not you know? the chastening of the Lord, yeah. man. And we all got I'm offended. Like I remember, I got offended when I first came in. And Harris started thinking, "Oh snap, that offended my, offended my mind." Like, oh shit, I gotta stop doing this, man. You know, my heart dropped. I heard I'm doing things that's not that's not pleasing to the Lord. You know, it it, 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 uh, uh, it was that that rod, man. Like brothers going into man, I, I had to get right. You know, so many people that get offended, you're supposed to get offended, man. You know. You're supposed to, man. You women get offended. We are hear certain things. You know, you're supposed to, man. You know, and if you don't, if you don't take heed to the Mosai's program, the Lord will kill you. Simple like that, man. You know, you people will die. You're gonna you die, know? man. Matter of fact, let's get that. It. it was a Proverbs three and eleven. Our people wicked, man. Me and the brothers talking about it. You Jakes, we ain't taking advantage of the grace spirit. Mosai, we just seen some brutal ass deaths, man. You niggas out there playing games with the Mosai, man, tempting the spirit. Seen a car crash, shit, she <laughs> oh, yeah, and he died right in front of the fucking auto collision. Tell me that's not judgment, man. Yeah. Right? Most I ain't playing, man. That's the time we in. Right? Yeah. He gave our people enough time to seek him. Now you gonna know why they call him Al Ashaji. For a long time, he said he held his peace. He was quiet, and since he was quiet, iniquity increased. And he saw it's like, well, shit, ain't nothing happened to us now. Maybe he is on our side. Nah, you dummy, it's prophecy. All right? He had to wait for your sins to reach unto heaven. So when he judged you, there is no um, mistake, man. There's no regrets. And now you Edomites now, 
uh, graduate of Pride Month, all right? Everything is tranny this, tranny that, rituals, homosexuality, man. Okay? Wicked, man. And so much that, and he's using, he using our people as a face to push these things. These sell out niggas. That's why we always get on these niggas, man. These celebrities, man. Like you got Bill Cosby just got out. Which in one case, okay, he's an old man, but he's a sellout nigga too. He's a part of the Blue League. Right? You Jake should celebrate him by because he's not a part of you, man. Once you cross over, that's it. Alright? They're not kin with you no more, man. Okay? Him, Diddy, Jay-Z, what they call black excellence. Alright? All these niggas are Bachi boys, man. They already sold the hell out of me. Alright, they barely made their alignment with this devil, man. Okay, that's why they can't come back to the hood and, and build and try to do for their own. They can't do that. Okay? Alright, so and it helped that nigga anyway. That was just all a humiliation ritual. That was all Esau just disciplining him for, for doing things he wasn't supposed to do because the rumor was he was trying to buy NBC News or whatever kind of nonsense he was trying to do. And the Amalekites warned him constantly. They did warn him constantly. Back when he was trying to do it in 07. And um, these Amalekites kept getting at him. You know, behind closed, the rumor was they kept warning him. He didn't take heed to the warning. All of a sudden, now his sexual sins came up in the past. See? And, and they destroyed his reputation. Okay, and they disciplined him a little bit. Now he's back out. See? Now can he attempt to buy the news network anymore? No. Because you've already been labeled as a um, a sexual predator, man. They did, they, did, yeah. like, they did the same thing to Michael Jackson. Yeah, Michael um, Jackson. Like in, in, what, in 1985, he bought the Beatles catalog. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He, he was getting rich off that. You know, and I remember like in the like 1990s, he um, left Sony owning half of Sony. Yeah, yeah. Prince, Prince had bought catalogs. Right? You see? And, and then next, you know, they put, put, put what happened to the image. They started tarnishing the image. You know what I'm saying? Bringing up the, the shit they did behind closed doors. You know? But we know Michael Jackson, they always a part of that, that um, brother. They were Freemasons, man. You know, they were satanic. They worship Satan. You know, they were different rituals behind closed doors. You know, Quincy Jones was popping Mike in the ass. You know? And they, and they brought information out how Michael liked little boys. You know? He does. This dude was a freak. Was Michael great and talent? Yeah. Yeah, he was talented. Wick wickedness and wickedness. Yeah. I think it wasn't to little boys, man. And he brought that information out once he started doing things that they said, listen, like, uh, it's, it's a certain level they want you Jake's at, man. Once you Jake started, like, you try to be on their level, oh, let me, let me own this, let me own this. They're like, it's not for you, you're a goddamn servant. That's how he saw see he Jake's and these celebrities, man. They didn't see him as entertainment, just be an entertainer. You know, don't try to get too much in the business side of the things. Yeah, don't try to be too political like yeah. Kaepernick. Yeah, yeah. Right? trying to be too political nigga we pay you to, to throw a football right we pay you lebron to dribble a basketball dribble and shut up remember that lady said that yeah just the, dribble the, and the, shut up that's how these these eight of mine suck at you right so that means that your riches and your fame is what is vanity it's vanity because just like that you can be taken away yeah the most i can kill you or he could destroy your image it's eight of mine, they could destroy your image man. they control the media that one Right, that, that witchcraft, they put out this information on them. Right, right? that's what you get for laying with the serpent. Right. Alright, what scripture you have? Um, I had uh, Proverbs 3 and verse 11. Right. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord. Yeah, so we're talking about that rod, which is for correction, right? Despise not what, Dad? Despise, my son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Neither be wary of his correction. Don't be wary of him. And why would the Most High correct you if you are a man of the Lord? Hebrews 12 6. There's a reason why. As a matter of fact, we'll get to Deuteronomy 8 too. We're just flowing in the Spirit, man. And there's other prophecies that happen this week. We'll get to it too. If it be his will. God. Hebrews 12 and 6. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. Yeah, so if the Lord love you, he'll chasten you. If he loves you, you are the niggas out there that's, that's like wildebeest in the street and a bunch of savages, man. Right? Right? But a bunch of miscreants. Right? A bunch of insects, man. Lord, don't love you, man. Sad that's, to say. 
Yeah. It's like it. That's why these Jakes, they're in the world doing no type of abominations. Yeah. And, and they're not getting touched right yeah. now. Yeah. Because the, the Lord is long suffering. Yeah. And he will no wise let them go. Yeah. But if a brother, you know, for sure, the Lord will jack him up. Not because he loves him. Yeah. You know? That's like if you have um, a father and his children, you know, and, his, and, a, and that son go out to play with his friends and they get into some trouble. You know, when that child come home, he's not going to whoop the other kid's ass. He can whoop his son's ass, because that's his son. He loved his son. You know, I'm like, yo, but they did it. You know, I don't give a fuck what they did. Well, they, they told did. me to do this. I don't give a fuck what they told you to do. Yeah. I told you not to do this. Yeah. You know? So that's how the Lord is with the elect. You know, the, um, the men of the Lord. You see? But these other people, the jakes in the world, they don't get jacked up. You know what I'm saying? But they're going to get jacked up, man. You know, they're going to get judged. And when, they get, man. and when they get judged, it's for, it's for death. It's for death, man. Yeah, it's for death. The Lord may, may, may chasten you with something. Yeah. If you do something wrong, fuck you up. Mm -hmm. But that's for you, for you to improve. Like the story of Jonah. Yeah. Jo he told Jonah to go prophesy to Nineveh, but he didn't listen. You know, he went to Tarshish. You know, and then they, they lost that 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 um that storm in the sea. You know, that's, that started the, the chastisement. Then he was uh, the lot fell on Jonah. You know, they cast Jonah to sea. He got swallowed by the serpent. You know, uh, you know what I'm going to well, the sea serpent. You know, and they swallowed him up. Then Jonah repented. And the servant spit him out, he went and did what the Lord told him to do. Because he loved Jonah. Now, if the Lord didn't love Jonah, the Lord would have had them all die in that shit, man. You know, they all would have died in that storm. But the Lord loved Jonah, man. You see? So that's how the Lord is with his men of the Lord in these, in these days, man. You know, when brothers fall short, brothers get right back up. Why? Because we believe in Yahweh Shem And the Lord put the Spirit upon us to get right back up, man. He chastised us and we keep it pushing, man. You know what I'm saying? And we gotta, we gotta um, take that cheerfully. We gotta praise the Lord. We chastised us, man. I show that He loved us, man. You know, that's a beautiful thing, man. These other jakes, you know, they either get put to death or the Lord let them build up a case upon themselves, man. Yeah, the Lord, the Lord like He He allows Satan, and that's what Jay He has done to you niggas in the, the entertainment world. He yeah. He allows Satan to give you over to your heart's desire. Yep, yep. And since you got over to your heart's desire, you're gonna die. We gonna what, what verse you got? Oh, Hebrews 12 and verse six. Oh, and it's more true. Right? right. It says, "For whom the Lord loveth, He chasteneth." And scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. If he endure chastening, the most high deal with you as with sons. So you gotta endure the chastening. That's why things don't go your way 100% of the time. Most of the time it don't. Alright? But the scripture says he never give you more than what you can bear. Yeah, yeah. See? So whatever you're going through, is right. And typically, right, and like, you know what I'm saying? Like, brother saying, yeah, you go through things, but it's not even that severe, man. And that's the spirit you said that. I was yeah. Just yesterday, I was meditating on that. I was meditating how. Um, our day-to-day -day life in this captivity is hell. Brothers catch hell in their own um, designed ways. Uh, however, how, however the heavenly father designed each brother to go through certain things. Like one brother's hell may not be as much hell as until another brother. So each brother got their own, you know, designed hell. Yeah. The Lord got set up, right? And I was meditating how whatever everything we go through is not going to compare to the kingdom. The Lord going to bless with everlasting life, power rules over the nations. You know, immortality, perfect body, all of that stuff, man. The Lord got a lot to prepare for us. Yeah. So on this side, we got just praise. We got to praise the Lord that we even going through this, man, because we experiencing um the negative on this side, and then we keep having nothing but positivity and joy and, and happiness, man. He want to bring for us, you know. So it's like this is only temporary. What's coming is gonna be everlasting. You everlasting. Know? Everlasting. And, and Yahweh Shai took the blunt of the punishment in the first place. Yeah. yeah. Yahweh Shai took the blunt of our punishment, man. Are we still catching hell? Yeah. But Yahweh Shai, that's what you have to come through him because he took, he was that, um, that, that uh, sacrificial lamb, man. Just keep saying, no servant, yeah. no greater than his master. Yeah, he took, he took the majority of the punishment. Yeah. Right? For all the nation, but mainly the elect. Okay? Mainly the elect, man. See? So technically, we got it easy to what compared to what Yahweh Shai to go through. He suffered the worst death ever, man. And then on top of that, um, we ain't even we get experiencing the trials, but it's gonna get turned up, right? But there's gonna be a reward. Yeah. The reward is salvation. Yeah. Being deliverance. The reward is gonna be what? Spiritual power. Mm. Lord willing. Lord willing. Man. See? Those just like any movie. Before the hero can get to that, uh, like the last dragon, before he realized that he, um, he, um, he, he got that power at the end. Um, I forgot what he, uh, he mastered the light or something like mm. that. He had to go through certain trials, man. You see? Remember that one, the, like the Black Bruce Lee movie? No, I didn't even see that. Oh, it sounds familiar. It's like uh, 1988. Mm. Oh, man. Oh, into the Into the Dragon. That yeah, one? yeah, with with the black with the uh, the black character though. I believe I gotta. I, oh man, I gotta probably rewatch it. Uh, I know I've seen some Bruce Lee movies. Oh, that's an old classic. Uh, mm. And that's like that with a lot of different movies and TV shows. You know, before the the person get the power, he has to awaken it. You know, by going through certain trials, tribulations. 
You know, they go through certain things. You got to see that movie. That was a classic. Yeah, yeah. That came out in the 80s. Mm. That one. See? Leroy. Oh, I gotta watch that. No, yeah, I never yeah, seen that. Yeah, that was a classic. I see the brothers post that a lot in like in the different um, yeah. videos they post. Yeah, yeah. I watched that. He kept running away from the villain, and then he realized, and it was it was no such thing as running. Mm. He had to go through it in order for him. Because he kept asking his master, how do you get... And the master kept it, but it didn't dawn on him yet until the end. Mm. That always happened. Mm. You see? So it's the same thing with us, man. You're going to have certain trials you go through, and then that reward is going to come, man. Like, another, a, a good example, too, is with Goku in Dragon Ball Z when he turned Super Saiyan. He never thought in his mind, I'm going to be able to make my hair glow and turn to this thing, what they call Super Saiyan. Yeah. He just got real angry at that point when Frieza killed Krillin. So he went through a lot in his life with his best friend or whatever. And when it got to that point, once Krillin died that time, he just, that power just unlocked. Yeah, you know, talking about The Last Dragon, all them niggas must have been looked at, looked deep because this came out in the 80s. Mm. And DBZ came out, I think, later on in the 80s. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So he must have seen this shit and like, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. We make them yellow, glow yellow, because that's exactly what the main character became in the end. Yeah, yeah. Him? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? And brothers are going to have that glow around them. Yeah, yeah. You know, that energy that energy force is coming out of them, man. Yeah. Brothers, man, what? I was talking about Jake, man. You see yep. these motherfuckers? They know, man. They know, they man. They know. That power going to be far out of this yeah. world. You see? So that motherfucker, yeah. that, you know, that motherfucker from DJ yeah. probably looked, looked at the shit. Yep, like, yep, oh, yep. okay. As you look at the whole Saiyan race, the whole monkey, the there tail, like, yeah, the warrior race, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You're like, nah, man. The like, pride on them too, because Vegeta yeah. had that pride on him. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now people are prideful. Yeah. You know? I think he died the other day too. Oh, uh, the, the, the brother there. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that, that was a classic movie, man. I'm gonna have to look at that movie again, actually. So you know how the Lord gonna do it in these last days, brother? We go through certain things. You know, trials, tribulations. We gonna keep calling on y'all, watching y'all shot. That's Psalm 50 and 15. Let's get that. Let's get that. See, we got, we got it. We, we found him. We, we gonna get that wisdom of Psalm 13. Come. Psalm chapter 50, verse 15. And call upon me in the day of trouble. Matter of fact, read a little further up. Okay, come on. I'll start at verse uh, 